Hello, Jaffrix here. Today we're going to take a look at the LEGO Star Wars Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition, which includes three minifigures, four if you count the battle droid, and one is also an exclusive anniversary figure, 250 pieces, retails for $30 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. And so here's your exclusive Darth Vader anniversary figure, and one thing makes this my second favorite anniversary figure besides Lando, and that's going to be the helmet piece there. Now, the reason why I like that so much is because this is a retired piece, isn't it? Like, this was used from 1999 to 2014 and retired in 2015. So, yeah, there was definitely a huge, huge update there. And it's, it's weird because you would think they would have never used that piece again, but here we are. We're using it in 2019. Can you believe that? So yeah, really cool to see there. He uses almost the exact same torso print right there. Sadly, does not have a new lightsaber hilt, which kind of makes me sad. I wish he brought back the old chrome one. He uses the same style cape as the 1999 version, and it says 20 years Lego Star Wars right there on the back. And he also does come in this little stand. It says 20 years Lego Star Wars 1999 to 2019. Darth Vader and this print is exclusive to the set and let's add it to the rest of my anniversary figures which are Lando, Han, and Luke Skywalker. Let's just add that right there, snap it on and boom we are almost completed with our 20th anniversary figure collection. All we need now is Princess Leia which I hope to get that slave one soon. You, you never know you might even see a review tomorrow. No I'm, I'm joking that, that's not So gonna... I was right about my Endor action battle review because this is a new piece for this figure. I actually thought about it for a second. I'm like, eh, I don't want to be wrong. And then I check the pieces, and there's actually a huge difference between the two, and that's easily the molding right here is different from the molding right there. So it's very similar, but very different at the same time. Makes absolutely no sense. But I think I might like this version better because I love this camouflage printed all around that helmet there. That is really, really nice. And also it does have a really nice looking torso print there. And also a very nice back torso print. So this is a very covenant figure I feel like when this set retires. The last time I saw it was in, uh, well besides the 2018 Kashyyyk sets, but I think 2014 I want to say. And you'll never guess who is underneath. Oh my god, it's an angry clone face. We've never seen those before. No, I'm just kidding. Those are very common. I just wish they would just make a new face. You get a Wookiee Warrior in the set. We might as well just call him Chief Tarful. But I really, really like this figure. It uses the t same mold as Chewbacca from my understanding. Actually, no. I take that back. The does not... It's basically Chewbacca, but he does not have the bandolier that he has. He does also have a nice little rifle gun there, which those aren't the easiest pieces to find nowadays. And yeah, really cool figure overall. And rounding off our figures, we do have a battle droid, which I wish it came with, I wish the set came with the Kashyyyk battle droid instead of this version of the battle droid because this is easily one of the most easiest figures to get in LEGO Star Wars, if not the easiest. And they came out brand new with um, new printing for the battle droids just like they did with the Luke Skywalker helmet piece and they didn't bring that piece back either. Consistency, Lego, consistency. So here we have our dwarf spider droid. This has gotta be the most ugliest build and the most hardest to stand up build I have ever seen in a Lego set. I can't, I can't do this guys. Like see the legs pop off too easily. I have one of these from the 2013 homing spider droid and that one was even an easier to pose version than this one. And wow, this is so, darn bad like the build like if this was just if this was a completely professional professional looking build like to where i could actually stand this thing up without it falling over then this would have been a good build but it's just it's hard to i think some of that is because they just decided just to throw its stud shooter on here just like that and this and they have this antenna at the top and these eyes like see the the, the leg pops off I can't do this guys, I can't do this. What I'm not going to complain about is this cute little turret right here. That is a really cool looking build there. 
I don't think they cut any corners with this for sure. This looks very sleek and I think of how simple it is, it, it makes a good little thing right here. I think, yeah, like Lego should continue to make things like this because this looks good. This, this looks really good. So yeah, really do like that. And you can put your little Wookiee right there as well, so. Very cool build, and I think LEGO should continue to make things like this better than that ugly piece of garbage I just showed you five it's seconds a minute ago. But here it is, the clone Scout Walker in all its glory. And so here is the Scout Walker, and wow, this thing is very nice. It's It looks really good. Very, like, now if this set looks similar to you, this is why. It looks very similar to the 2013 501st battle pack. I mean, 501st scout walker thing. Okay, and might as well just call this an ATRT, but yeah, this is. I mean, I don't want a lot from Lego. There's just one set I need, and that was a 501st back. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep bringing that situation up. It's just like a meme at this point at kids in my school just to say, I don't want a lot from Lego. Like, I just got to a point where I just have. Oh, don't hate me for this, guys, but I, I'm pretty sure I blocked that video on my online, on my Chromebook, so kids at my school can't watch it. I think I restricted it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. But, um, anyways, this thing is pretty nice, as I just realized. I have stuff missing from it. What is that? Let's put that stuff back on there. But, yeah, this is very nice, and starting off with the cockpit up here you can set your minifigures right there and there is a little steering wheel thing so that's going on and you do have these little antennas wow okay well we had those antennas but they just broke off we also do have this little sticker piece right there and a sticker piece right there nothing too crazy there you do have this giant torrent and there is a little stud shooter right there Boom, so crazy, right? Yeah, you guys probably never seen that play feature before. And there is these really nice legs. Apologize for that last statement, my brain was hacked. <laughs> That's not what I said. Only Flying Kitty members, well, Flying Kitty fans will get that reference. But um, yeah, this, it, it has some nice built legs is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so they got some really nice detail on those. You can also bend the legs there, and they, you also can bend, I don't know what to call these. Are these toes? They gotta be toes. If they're not toes, uh, okay, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even that funny. I, I'm pretending to be funny, but, uh, th can this thing ever get on? Okay, that's it. Let's take a look at packaging and then the final verdict. Actually, uh, we kind of want to get that out of the way there, um. Hold on, I got this. Uh, where's the box? Here it is. All right, so here's the box, guys, and, and it says 20th anniversary edition, and and it has this really shiny and stuff, and it talks about the main figure there, and also it does have some of. It shows all of the 20th anniversary figures there, and talks about the original. So every 20 years, Lego Star Wars with this updated version of the Clone Scout Walker originally released in 2005 as SKU. Someone told me what it was in the comments. They even pinned a comment of my last 20th anniversary review, and I don't remember what it was. It was 7250. I really don't care. But this was like $10 back in 2005. Rip. Let's get that out of the way. But anyways, here is the instruction manual, and inside you can find some really good, interesting stuff about 20 years ago. Actually, I did finally read through that the other day, and that it was some good information. And I did talk about the original version of the set, and that thing looks not too good. I kind of want, I kind of want to get that now, just so I can just. Try to do like that figure. That's a pretty nice figure. But anyways, here is the new set compared to the old set. I like the new one better for sure. Um, and then it talks about um, the original 1999 Darth Vader me figure. I love that figure, and also there is. The other stuff there, it talks about all the other LEGO Star Wars 20th anniversary sets, and it talks about 
Well, I mean, it doesn't like do an explanation, but it does talk about each individual figure there. And is there another thing? Yes, there is. It talks about the Battle of Kashyyyk there, and I love that artwork. And let's see, is it talk about any other languages? No. So, Indian uh, T series lovers can not appreciate this set. And it does have some ads for the May figures, along with the Action Battle Hoth set thing. I don't remember what the set is called. I, what is the set? I always forget what the set is called. I, I even asked for it for Easter, and I'm like, what is that set called? And I don't remember, so. Here, we're gonna try this again. I already uh, recorded that last part there, but uh, I'm just gonna do this again. And running the set off, we did, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it, it's, it's okay. I, I, this thing though, this thing's bad. Um, as it just broke again, that's overused. Uh, this is a really cool figure. This is a really cool build. I, I like this. Um, this is like the best part of the whole set. Just saying. Um, why do I have this 2x4 on it? And the build for the 501st Battle Pack, I mean, uh, the Scout Trooper Walker thing, the ATRT is pretty good. I, I, I like it. Um, $30 for this is, uh, kind of pricey. I do not like that. Um, it's not as bad as the Scout, the Ender, Ender, Endor thing, Ender Action, action Battle Attack set. Yeah, that, that set was okay. I mean, I like the set more, but it, I, if the set was 25 bucks, I w this, this would have been perfect. But uh, this is $30. That doesn't look $30. This, is, this shouldn't make it $30. This shouldn't make it $30. Actually, this might make it $30. Um, this definitely doesn't make it $30. And that uh, piece of crap thing over there. Um, yeah, that, that does not make it $30, so. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, this set gets like a B or whatever. I don't know. I I don't know anymore. Um, yeah, but so, this was like the most, This I even tried to be funny and I'm really not that funny, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out. Bye. And rounding the set off, it's it's pretty, it's, it's okay. I, I like it. And where's my, there it is. There's a the little uh, dude right there. Thank you. And rounding the set off, I think this is a, really? I, I can't even, I can't even, okay. <laughs>